Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. Today I am going to be reviewing volume 6 in the series, no matter how I look at it, it's you guys fault I'm not popular by Miko Tanagawa. Doesn't it just roll off the tongue, no matter how I look at it, it's you guys fault I'm not popular. So volume 6, I've been reading this series, I've actually been rereading this series, I read part of it about two years ago, so I do have a little bit of an, of an advantage in this review, but I did want to read or talk about, I also want to read it, uh, I want to talk about my feelings on Volume 6, so let's dive in. Um, in Volume 6, a story, a forward story is starting to take place. It is primarily, I feel like, a character-driven driven story. There's not an outside event that's taking place that's driving the story along. It's just our main character, Tomoko, who is here, sorry, here, um, who is trying to go through high school. Tomoko, our main character, is a shy, awkward, lonely, uh, a little pervy um, teenage girl who is in high school, who thought she was going to be popular in high school, but really isn't. She's built up this wall where she keeps herself in, and as a result of keeping herself in and safe, she's also keeping everyone out and away from the thing that she wants most, which is human connection, which is what we all crave and want. Um, Tomoko is very... It's a very hard character to get into at first. I feel like she's very embarrassing. She's a little awkward. She's more than a little awkward. She's very awkward. Um, she continually self-sabotages. So when things could turn around for her, she shoots herself in the foot basically because she doesn't know what else to do. I feel like it's a self-protection mechanism. She's been by herself and lonely for so long that it's hard to put herself out there even though she desperately wants to put herself out there she may be afraid of rejection. So Tomoko is a very hard character to like but I feel like it's also a little hard to read because most of us recognize at least one or two aspects of her in ourselves. I feel like maybe if you went through the entire time from fifth grade to twelfth grade of your school career without doing a single embarrassing thing, then you might not relate to this book. But if you are like 99.9% .9 of people in the world, at some point between the ages of 10 and 18, you did something embarrassing that might keep you up at night when you're trying to sleep, which is why I have a regular sleep schedule. So when I go to bed, I fall asleep instead of thinking about that dumb thing that I said in seventh grade algebra class that I wish I could take back that I'm sure no one else remembers. If you have done something embarrassing in your life, you're gonna relate to Tomoko. Now Tomoko takes it to a new level. She is very embarrassing. She's very awkward. She is very lonely. She is painfully shy and things don't always seem to go well for her, which I like. I feel like sometimes in these manga series, things just, go right and things are always working out but in this series it's a little more realistic where things aren't always working out and things um and, and Tomoko isn't this like flawed but in a cute way character no she's actually struggling and that makes it more relatable to a reader in my opinion which is why I like her six volumes in we're a little bit more connected with Tomoko we spent some time with her and things are starting to move forward. As we can see from the cover, in previous volumes, it has been more or less just Tomoko featured, but Tomoko is now talking to other people. This girl is actually one of her friends from middle school. She did have a friend in middle school, and this is a, another girl that she knew from middle school who she accidentally sabotaged a little bit without intentionally knowing it because Tomoko lacks some social awareness skills. So she is talking to other people, and you have a sense that this could actually be a really good friendship despite starting on maybe little shaky grounds, or at least a little triad of girls that she can hang out with. Um, we're starting to move from this wallowing depression to things actually happening very slowly in a realistic way. It's not like someone waved a magic wand and now Tomoko is not awkward. She's super sexy. She's doing her thing and she's the perfect high school girl that's in every manga fantasy. Like, no, uh-uh, this is not that kind of book. And if that's the kind of book you're looking for, it's not going to be here. This is a realistic teenage girl who is living her life, who just wants to make friends and who is in this hole that she's kind of dug for herself. And she's trying to get out of the hole and she's starting to make progress. We're moving from wallowing into action, and I feel like moving from wallowing in depression to taking action, however poor that action is, is kind of a good first step. So we can all relate to her, and she's starting to move out of this, and all that wallowing from the first couple of volumes is what makes these steps that she's making now so worthwhile and so enjoyable to read. We're getting payoff from all the time that Tomoko sent, spent self-sabotaging and hurting herself, hurting herself like socially, like crippling her own social interactions with other people, I should say. Um, and I promise the series is on an upward trajectory. So if you're reading the series and you don't want to cling to that hope because the first couple volumes have been so rough to read and you're like, I'm not sure I want to keep reading this or I don't want to get attached to this glimmer of hope only to have it snatched away. Now, I didn't finish the series, but I did get through volume 16 and I can say that this 
so story does continue on an upward positive trajectory, but in my opinion, in a more realistic time scale and in a realistic fashion. And I really enjoyed this series and I enjoyed volume six. If you've read volume six and have thoughts on it, please share it in the comments below. I would love to hear it. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.